is full of the bumps in the road, but for one young woman, that bump came in the form of a lump. At 21, Megan Mendez was diagnosed with breast cancer. Her world took an unexpected turn. As RTV6's Emily Pace tells us, every day she is driving in unknown territory. It's just after midnight. Megan Mendez is going about her rounds at Riley Hospital for Children at IU Health. But she's not just a nurse. I've been a patient, so I know how nervous or scared they probably are. Megan has fought to get where she is. At 21, while in nursing school, she felt a lump in her breast. Doctors confirmed her unsuspecting fear. I was mad, depressed. You know, I kept asking, why me? Why me? You know, what did I do to deserve this? While doctors say it's rare for women under the age of 30 to get breast cancer, Megan is evidence that all women, regardless of age, are at risk for the disease. <laughs> Determined to live, she has a young daughter, husband, and tight knit family. College. Megan underwent two years of treatment, multiple surgeries, and countless doctor visits Thank you. before she was cancer free. We really thought, you know, we're going to go through this, we're going to get this, it's going to be done, and we'll all go back to normal. And then, you know, I got diagnosed. So. The cancer not only returned, it spread. Doctors removed both of Megan's breasts and her ovaries to prevent further complications. <laughs> At 26, she's lost much of what she feels makes her a woman. But Megan has vowed not to let her illness define her. Instead, she uses it as a tool to better treat others. A lot of them, um, are in shock and can't believe they're like, what? You're, you're, you're going through chemo? You're a cancer patient? Has she had her flu shot this year? No. Would you like her to have it while she's here at Riley? Everything going yep. okay. Mm -hmm. Megan receives chemo every three weeks. She does this all while working full time. It can make her weak, sometimes very sick, and there's no end in sight. Doctors have told Megan she will need to get chemo as long as she's living. That's not going to beat me. It hasn't beat me. It's not what she'd imagined for her life five years ago, but Megan says cancer has made her a better person. You know, if I wouldn't have went through it, where would I be? Emily Pace, RTV6. And Megan says she's taking it one day at a time. In addition to home and work, she is back in school to get her bachelor's degree in nursing. Her goal, to share her experience with others because cancer can show up when you least expect it.